either Lonzo is about to get replaced next year or Lonzo Ball is about to be shipped out. I think he deserves some credit. Mm. He just couldn't lose him. Let's just say they plug in Carmelo Anthony. You're an entirely different type of team. There will be a lot of people, if there aren't already on the internet, trying to claim that they knew the whole time, that they predicted, and maybe they did. This is a nation of four million people. This is a tiny nation. It was carved out of the old Yugoslavia. Tremendously talented individuals that they have against the Brazils and the Germanys. This is a remarkable Cinderella run to the final. How have they done it? And I think we have to even go back to looking at the group that they came out of, a group that many thought was one of the hardest groups in this tournament with Nigeria and Iceland and Argentina. They won all three of their games in that. They've had a couple games in extra time. They've had penalty kicks, whatever you want to say about this team. They have a will and a desire to win unlike any other. But the way that they have rallied together and fought moments and going down a goal here in the semifinal tonight, it's incredible. And Zlatko Dalic deserves a ton of credit. This is a coach that took over at the end of qualifying. Only three matches in charge to get them to this tournament at this point. And they have been riding that wave. They have a belief about them. They have a look in their eye. And then they still have game changers. So it's going to be an exciting final with France. I think this is truly a New England team in the way that they play, in the way that they think about themselves, in the way that we think about them. Uh, and while it, it may not be coming home, uh, this team is coming home winners. They have ultimately changed the culture and they have changed the perception uh, and they have changed the future. And not just the perception uh, externally about how we see them, but how, how, how they see themselves. This is a wonderfully young team, an attractive team, an evolving team with a wonderful coach here. LeBron had already decided to be a Laker. You know it, and I know it. And the tip-off from what we just heard from Magic was, LeBron had already gone carefully over the entire roster. He was breaking down Kyle Kuzma's game for Magic to the point that Magic said he knew more about my roster than I know about my roster. It was a foregone conclusion. It was a formality of a meeting. He could have easily lost him. He could have said, well, you know, Bron, I, I just, you know, I don't think you're going to be the same player this year, and we want this and that other. He's like, nah, I want what you want. I want championships. You're the best player in the world. I'm going to do everything that's in my power to surround you with guys that I know that you need and you want and can help you compete. If you were basing it on basketball your last four years trying to win championships, the Lakers shouldn't be in the conversation because they don't have that team put together. But nobody thought it was about his kid and he just wants to live in L.A. And, and that's what it's more about because you don't see LeBron come into a situation blindly going, well, I hope they'll get the other pieces. The pieces always are usually in, in part. I do think there's a, something to be said about Magic Johnson's. If you've ever been in a room with Magic, there is something there that is not common among. I love R.C. Buford. I like Daryl Morey. I like Mitch Kupchak. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of good GMs. But, you know, Danny played the game. Magic played it at a ridiculous level. I think it matters. We all know one of the biggest reasons why LeBron's in L.A. is to advance his post-playing interest. He's got his social media platform. He's got his movie studio. He wants to be in the acting game, I'm sure, uh, to some degree still. L.A. presents him with so many opportunities. And Magic Johnson, as you were alluding to earlier, he has built a, as good a post-playing career empire as any athlete in, uh, in modern sports, in this, today's modern sports age. Uh, so I think that's a huge part of it. Rondo does not see himself as an insurance policy. Nope. Especially if what's being reported is true, yep. that this is an open competition. Mm -hmm. Also, Skip Bayless, an insurance policy doesn't normally cost more than the item being insured. You know, you get car insurance, it doesn't cost you, the insurance is not as much as the car is valued at. Rondo, nine million. Right, nine million. Yep. So what does that tell you? I told you that one of two things was about to happen. Either Alonzo's about to get replaced next year, he's about to get put on ice for a year. With, with, again, Rondo's just on a one-year deal, mm -hmm. just to see if Rondo and LeBron can click a little bit and right. take them up a level as veterans. or. Lonzo Ball is about to be shipped out. He's about to be part of the big Kawhi deal or whatever deal. It's a three-way deal. I don't know. Whatever it might be, it just felt like
he was on the front burner to be traded. And you know what? Maybe he still is. We know what LeBron is about, right? LeBron is not about kids. LeBron is about people who can get the job done. Proving commodities. Exactly. So I think that this could potentially be a big problem, especially if Rondo, I mean, if, if Lonzo doesn't play well, and if Lonzo doesn't do the things that he needs to do to stay out there, you have a guy who can definitely go out there and 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 make that happen and he's a very competitive guy Lonzo I don't know maybe this is the fire he needs to get it together people forget what pro sports is about and pro sports is about competition the Lakers need a good backup point guard Lonzo also needs to be pushed physically and mentally that's why you bring Rondo there I don't see any negatives out of him being there you should have someone as the backup who can be a starter you know why because it's a real threat to the player. I think this addition of Rajon Rondo is going to be excellent for him. One, because of the mind and the willingness that I believe mm-hmm. Rondo will have to help him. If you remember two seasons back when Rajon Rondo was with the Chicago Bulls, yes. those young guys loved him because he was able to mentor them. And he had an excellent postseason until he hurt his hand. I mean, the, the Bulls really turned the corner because of him. I think there are two teams that can win the title next year. I predict the Celtics beat the Warriors, who face some real fatigue over time. Uh, That would be an upset, but I think there's only two teams that can win it. I do not believe Houston losing Trevor Ariza and Luke on the wings are the same defense. Uh, Chris Paul is getting older. I think they're over going to overpay for Clint Capella, who gets marginalized against really good teams that can shoot. I think, and this happens in sports a lot, Chris, we don't see the Patriots very much. What we see is the 49ers with Harbaugh. Really good and disappear. Last season, they were a top 10 defense. And a big part of that, Trevor Ariza, Luke Mabamute, those guys were great on the perimeter. They were versatile. They allowed them to switch a lot. They were a modern defense last year. You lose those two guys, and for the sake of argument, let's just say they plug in Carmelo Anthony. You're an entirely different type of team. Maybe you're a little bit more offensively explosive, but you probably go from seventh or eighth defensively to somewhere in the high teens defensively. Everyone's in this big three thing. Let's, man, we got to get three stars. That's not available everywhere. So now you got to throw in some stuff. You got to throw in a center, which OKC has done with Paul George. Let's go Russell and Stephen. He, he's our third. And there's other teams that have hired, had to do the same because. There's only one Clay, Steph, and, and KD, Draymond. So everyone else has to throw their version of it, and typically you're coming up with a player like Capella as your third star.